Welcome to video 1 of the Administrator Web Portal Tutorial. In this video, we will cover the Web Portal navigation and setting up your enterprise level information. The purpose of this video is to help you get familiar with the Web Portal. This short tutorial will cover the basics. We recommend after viewing this video, you view the second Administrator video on assisting you with configuration of your managed IP services. Let's begin. As an enterprise administrator, you have access to one or more groups which represent your company's physical locations. Every user in your company is in one of these groups. These groups can be further divided into departments, representing functional groupings within your company's various groups. You can have administrators at each of these levels. There may be a group admin that can only see items in a particular group or a department admin that can only view items in a particular department within a group. When individual users log in, naturally they see only items for their particular account. The diagram on your screen summarizes this hierarchy. Logging in as the enterprise admin, you have access to each level in this hierarchy. To log in to the Managed IP web portal, Point your web browser to www.tdsmanagedip.com. Enter in your provided user ID and password and click login. Now that you have logged into the web portal, you will be presented with the navigation menu on the left. This will drive the content that is displayed in your main window. The left navigation options will change based on if you are at the enterprise, group, or user levels. If you want to view a group, just select the group from the drop-down menu of available groups. The options in the left navigation bar now pertain to that group. These are the same menus a group admin will see upon login. There are two ways to view the properties of an individual user. You can either select a user from the available drop-down list or click Advanced Search. Here, you can search by phone number, first name, or last name. You can also use an asterisk as a wildcard search. For example, to find everyone whose name starts with M, simply type in M and an asterisk. Then click Search. Then select your user. You'll see the options in the left navigation bar now pertain to the user level. If you want to move back up in the hierarchy, just click on the level of navigation you want. For example, I'm currently at the user level. If I want to go back up to the group level, I click on group. And if I want to go all the way back up to the enterprise level, I just click enterprise. There are also links in the upper right hand corner of your web portal. The support link will take you to the TDS Managed IP support site. Here you can find user guides, videos, and other information that pertains to your managed IP service. The Administrator User Group link will allow you to opt in to a group exclusively for administrators. By being a member of this group, it will allow us to communicate to you any service upgrades or service announcements. Please be sure to sign up for this group. The other link is Help Available. From anywhere in your screen, you can click this button to get help for the screen you are currently on. The first menu option item that we are going to cover is the announcement. This page will provide you with up-to-date product notifications or help functions. This page is updated often and we recommend that you view it upon each login. Profile allows you to set up your company information and also change your login password. When first setting up your system, hover over Profile and click Contact Information. Here, update your company information and your administrator contact information, then click Save. Next, you will want to reset your password. Hover on Profile and click Change Password. Type in your TDS provided password and then your new password. For security purposes, you will be prompted to change this upon first login. Please click Save when finished. Calling policies is read only and provides detailed information such as call limits and conferencing. Generalized user reports 
allows you to create a report by group or department that shows all the users and the services assigned to them for the selected group or department. The Resources and Utilities option provides you with information on services for your group and users. Hovering on Resources allows you to see service authorizations and service pack consumptions for your enterprise. Hovering on the Utilities menu and clicking on Enterprise Directory provides you with a complete list of users for your quick reference. For your convenience, there are also quick links available for you to click and download for distribution to your users. Back on the Utilities menu, the Answer Confirmation option enables you to upload a custom announcement for features that utilize the Answer Confirmation function. Now that you are familiar with your administrator portal and have configured your enterprise level information, we can begin setting up your managed IP service. Please take time to view the video, Administrator Configuration, to learn how to configure your group and user information. This video is available on our support site at support.tdsmanagedip.com.